And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. See you in. Jewel, just jewel. And we're at it again. It's our top exactly. 10 neck knives of 23. Uh, slim pickings for neck knives this year. Slim pickings. Slim pickings, yeah. But like all our previous top 10 videos, we're able to narrow down to the best by taking into consideration versatility, popularity, design, cost, option size, and of course, Jewel's personal taste. Yep. So with that, let's dive into it. So number 10 on our best neck knives list of 2023 is the Civivi Circulus. So though it's on the smaller and what are you doing there? Gang symbol it up? Oh, okay. You're going to do that. Okay. I'll let you do that. So though on the smaller slimmer side, this neck carry is extremely compact and light. Makes it perfect for an all day carry. Extremely popular. This fixed blade comes in gray and black. 4.96 inch overall. It shows off a 1.96 inch black stone wash. 10 CR 15 Como V. Steel drop point blade. Flat grind. Jimping. 0.12 of thickness and a plain edge. Comes about 59 to 61 on the HRC scale. That's great. One piece construction. This carry comes with a black kydex sheath. Neck chain. Black lanyard with titanium bead and box. Designed by Ostapel. It's just $55 from landknife.com. Well, you're so, paying for that bead, aren't you? Yeah. Of course, the other option is gray stone wash instead of black. So, same price, though. So, positive on that. Similar in style, I would say, to the CVV Minimus that's now discontinued. Minimus, Minimus. discontinuous. Discontinuous, yeah. So, see, what do you think of this? Thoughts on that? That's all right. I mean, you know me. I'm it's not a neck knife guy. I keep one in my pocket. Oh, I see what you did there. What? I see what she did there. I didn't you know what? I'm going to let her hang on that one. That's all her. Huh? I thought it was great. Why don't you show everybody how great it was? Oh, I agree with you. So, a little small for my personal taste. Can't can't lift it, can you? So, it's easy to remove from the sheath because of the milled handle and the, uh, there's like a little lip on here. Mm. It's pretty easy to pull off. And you know what? Lighter, too, because of the, the milling, which, you know, they probably took that into consideration, too. So, easier on the neck when you're carrying it around. Not to mention, this would fit in a work bag or a pocket. I'm so glad they put a little pocket clip on here. Not too small. It's big enough, you know, that it can go pretty well on things. And that makes it more, you know. Inside the vest. Inside the vest. For those who wear a vest. Good. Yeah, or like your blazer. Right blazer. Good little EDC. Because us ourselves here and our listeners and watchers we're are wearing blazers okay well whatever you're wearing it'll freaking fit okay good little edc though steel isn't high end it come on all right you I can tell you. it's oh stop though that's it number stop. nine moving on wow crkt spit now we all know Thank God I didn't spit. alan fultz really likes the neck knife he or does. five and a half inch knives this one is no different in size. 5.48 overall. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. 2.29 inch. 8CR 13 MOV reverse tanto blade. Plain edge. Two tone satin finish. And stone wash finish, right? Two tone satin stone wash. I'm sorry. Minor jimping. Minor. Handle has orange G2 scales. Yep. So, as well as a black paracord uh, lanyard here. Mm hmm. Both on the knife and on your sheath here. Black sheath, obviously. Oh, sorry. There we go. <clears throat> Got the adjustable lanyard too. Designed by Alan Foltz. This neck carries only thirty-eight eighty-four. Hmm. From landknife.com. It's also got this little clip here, so I can put it on there. All right. So we're not super fond of the orange color, but mm -hmm. that does make it easier to find. You know, if you drop it outdoors in the woods or something. On the other hand, we like the price and. It's longer length, especially compared to the CV Circulus. Of course, 8CR13. It's CRKT. That's usually what they're working in, so you take the good with the bad. Overall, I wouldn't mind carrying it. I mean, I think it's pretty perfect for those on a tight budget, too. I'm sorry. I like all the Holtz Minimalists. There's several ones. I, there's other ones I prefer over this one, but for this year, very nice knife. Good style. It's easy to use, and it doesn't seem too small, even though uh, it's only 5.48 inch. This way or this way? That way. All right. Nice. We're snapped in. That 
We're hitting number eight. Number eight. The Kaiser Rocker. Uh oh, one option. Boy, I feel like there's probably more coming. <clears throat> yeah, there's. So I think there's a black. This carry made it made the list for because it's extremely compact. Obviously, price and popularity. One of the most popular Kaiser neck knives, aside from uh, well, the other one we'll be featuring. Yeah, I guess what it is. Mm -hmm. Just guess. So this one is just 3.25 inches overall. Yeah, you heard right. With a 1.5 inch D2 blade with jimping, plain edge, and stone wash finish. The handle is black micarta. Comes with a black Kydex sheath right there. Here we go. Hold on. It's hard to do from the side. As well as a paracord lanyard or regular, nope, nylon cord. Sorry. Just, just $34 from Atlantic.com. All right. See, you can go first. Well, <laughs> hold on. <clears throat> wow. When in doubt. Wow. I mean, it's a nice little knife. I mean, it's not for me, obviously, because I don't know. I'm not a teeny knife guy. But the design seems to be, you know, like you're ever going to really rock it. But it's usable. It's a nice neck knife. And it is low cost. So I will give it yes. that. And uh, I'm just not, an, as you can tell, yeah. a big fan. Wow. Yeah. Again, a little knife. small for my personal taste and use, however, I can see why others have added it to their everyday carry or their collections. Great knife for those who collect, you know, the miniature knives, big fans of those. You wouldn't think there are, but there are. Yeah, Second, it's sharp enough that if you're using it, it's going to open that box or the letter or whatever mm -hmm. small daily task you're doing with it. Finally, because of the size, you're not even going to remember you're carrying it until you need it. You're like, oh, I got my knife. There it is. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. All right. I like this one better. Number seven. Civivi Vaquita. Yeah. Dos. Another popular knife for, from Civivi. Took off this year, didn't it? Yeah. Definitely it's a lot of blade. That's important, which is unusual for a neck carry. There are five different options. Some with G10, some with Micarta. We have the snazziest one. Yeah, bringing snazzy back, people. So we have the Damascus option with green Micarta. So this mm. carry is 6.23 inches overall with a 3.2 inch Damascus kukri style blade with plain edge, flat grind, 0.1 inch thickness, and of course a little spine divot here for extra control. Comes to about 58.60 on the HRC scale, while the other models feature Nitro V steel, which comes to about mm, 59.61 on the HRC scale. Along with different finishes too. Go ahead. All right. Handle this option is green canvas micarta. Whoop, whoop. But there are others with black and JG10. Yep. Of course, there are different blade finishes as well, depending on which one you choose. Yep. Comes with a black Kydex neck sheath and ball chain. Designed by Nat Matlack and weighs just 1.28 ounces. You can grab one starting at just $56.95. From Atlantic.com. Do you realize you said Nat Matlack instead Nat. of Nate? Oh, I said Nat, Nat. Matt Lack. It goes together. <laughs> Nate Matt yeah. Lack. I'm sorry, Nate. It's just, you should change your name. I think Nat's better. I think it would be a little more alliteration friendly. Yep, exactly. exactly. All right, give it to him. Exactly. So, well, it's one of the bigger neck knives we've seen this year. Very popular, which was surprising. Because I think, remember, when we were viewing it, I wasn't sure how it was going to do. I didn't think it was going to do as well as it did. I mean, it sold out a few times, especially the black Damascus option. I can see the appeal of having a mini kukri. Personally, again, though, this is not my style of carry. It's cool to say the least, and it's pretty easy to take out of the sheath. I just find myself wanting to put my finger up here. Mm. So it's just... Don't find yourself doing that. Yeah, I, I got you. Mm -hmm. Now, it is very, very cool, and miniature knife collectors zero in on this one because it's, it's, it's a good one to have. See, what do you think? I'm not sure that's miniature enough for them. The miniature I guys are that's like a mini two inch, one inch. I see what you mean. You want to you wanna come up there and do yeah. it. Um, I don't know. I still like it. It looks very nice. Damascus. I'm not sure I'd want a Damascus neck knife, especially how I'm going to treat a neck knife. the neck knife. Yeah. It's the idea so the behind nitro that. V. Probably. Yeah. But, you know, once again. The snazziest one, though. It's a very nice knife. So, you know, moving on. All right. Number six. Station X Ultra Trail Neck Knife. Yes. It's a little known company. They have very few products as of right now. Uh, this knife and the mini lapel dagger have been their most popular uh, knives this year. Mm -hmm. Very uh, simplistic, simplistic, I guess, is yeah. what you would say. We like that about So, serves its purpose, and though it's just 5.25 inches overall, <coughs> it's wider than many of the other neck knives. Mm -hmm. So it fits really well in the hand, no matter if it's my hand, C's, or C's mother-in-law. Mm. Yeah, exactly. All right. I can fit right through her hand. 
picks her teeth with it. I don't... Yeah. Here. Wow. <coughs> what do you think of that one? Only the real ones. Um, <laughs> what little are left. Uh, yeah, I like Station X and Ethnice. They kind of remind me of... Um, uh, the one that we sell all the time and have the been for years. Fred Perrin. Bread Perrin. I knew we were going to go there. Because um, funny enough, I'm pretty sure the same person that did that one did this one. I did think? they? No, Dirk Pinkerton did another one. Sorry. Oh, wouldn't be surprised. Um, nice neck knife like for people Dirk who want Pinkerton to use them. I mean, very useful. How much is this thing? Do you remember? It is going to be said after we do the specs. Oh, okay. Well, we'll move on then with the specs then. 49, so let, I think. Let's give it to them now. That's great. So... It is a one-piece fixed carry. It's 5.25 inch overall with a two and a half inch VG10. Bring it back to VG10. Amen. Stainless clip point blade, black stone wash finish, jimping, and plain edge. Handle is made of the same material and features a finger ring for additional control and grip. Comes with black kydex neck sheath and beaded neck chain. Yep, you can also attach a lanyard to the finger ring if you want, you know, additional length and then paracord winner if you need it. Mm -hmm. Best part, $49.95. And there you go. That's from alandknife.com. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Very easy to take out of the sheath. That's probably my favorite part. It's just... So you can get it out? Yeah, easily. Yeah, they wear over time, so they will make yeah. their way uh, Exactly. So the ones that are a little more difficult, they'll wear down. Guess what? Final five! Ah. Oh, before we, we rebuild them. We'd like to ask you to hit this like, share, comment, and subscribe button as well as ring that glorious bell. That way you're connected to Atlantic Knife and notified when uh, new videos drop. That's important. Bonus, you also get automatically entered into giveaways. Right now we're giving away the top Sasbo Express with double-edged dagger style blade. I know. So, as well as the Kydex sheath, survival whistle, and a signed headshot of C's mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm really. going to have to shoot him? Next thing. What? Single head. Oh, I got you. Oh, I How thought How are you we going to sign that? Well, <laughs> we'll do it like they do in Zombieland. Oh, that's cool. All right. You can double your chances of winning by becoming an official AK member by the link in the description below. Looking Not only will you increase your chances of winning the top Sasbo Express, but you'll also gain first access to daily deals, AK discounts, and new knife releases, and more. And I have been looking to discount lately. Have you? Yeah, some of the stuff's starting to irritate me. Some of the stuff's starting to... You know, it just... I want less of it. What? <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff, you know? We have too many cars on the lot. They need oh. to go by next <laughs> it's year. It's a blowout sale. There's some, there's some things that I bought a lot of. I'm like, you know what? I think 20 I 20% below sticker price. All right. Just click the link down below, guys, and begin mm. your journey as an official AK member. With that, we're back to the top 10 neck knives of this year, resuming with number 5. The Civivi Mini Elementum. I threw C off a little. Let's yeah, I wouldn't even. Gotta bring uh, it back now. I wouldn't even in pre warm ups. Wow, three neck knives, one list. I know, mm. Civivi. They really did a number on their competitors Give it this to year. Them. So they released multiple arrays of different types of knives this year. They did neck knives, folding knives. They had that. Remember the Aratra was like a mini saw axe type of thing? You remember it? It was like this big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it wasn't just the vast amounts of different carries that they did. It was also the popularity they obtained. The mini Elementum, clearly milk and design of the popular original folding Elementum, mm -hmm. was able to sell out a few times when it came out. I can't remember when it came out. Sometime this year. Oh, Early. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. All right. So I felt this was the best Civivi neck knife to drop this year. We love the original Elementum and just about every Elementum that comes after it. Yeah. Even the Wii Elementum. Yeah. I have one. This one being no exception. So there are two different options to pick from. We have the blackout model to show you guys today. Anyways, it's 4.96 inches overall with a 2.24 inch, 2.24 inch there Nitro V steel drop point blade with black finish, hollow grind, 0 0.11 inch thickness, and plain edge. Comes about 59 to 61 on the HRC scale. Handle is Nitro V steel, black G10 scales. Comes in a black Kydex neck sheath and chain. It's also a lanyard hull for additional carry options. Yeah, I stuck the chain through there, but it goes around the sheath, obviously. So the other option has dark green canvas micarta over Damascus steel. Weighs just 0 0.73 ounces. You can nab one in a land knife starting at only 49.75. Not bad, not right. bad. What do you think of this knife? All right, so now we're getting to the Vaquita size. Close. I like the styling of it. It's I like the Elementum blade okay. shape, so obviously I'm going to like this one too. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I mean, seems useful, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people picked it up. 
I like the design of it. It seems like it's easy to hold, too. And I kind of like that also. But I still like a bigger knife. Yeah. But you'll be getting tuned just one second. Awesome. Hey, by the way, number four. That is the Boker Erd XL. That's, that's great. Now, initially, I thought this was a bit of a brick to carry around your neck. But since we reviewed it very early in the year, it started to grow on me, okay? I like the big blade and the size. Sure, probably the heaviest, bulkiest neck knife on the table today, but that probably. isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, come on. You can do way more things with this bigger knife. I can see this as more of like an outdoor neck carry than a, you know, box warrior neck mm. carry. Probably why I like it more. Only thing I would say about this that needs to be tweaked just a little is the, the edge of the handle here. It does help you, you know, keep your grip but it's just a little awkward if you have a little larger. Sharp, I thought. Yeah, a little sharp, a little awkward if you have big hands too, because I can fit my hand on there, but you or it's your mother is going to have Take it out issue. to the wheel and just grind it down a little bit. Yeah, Put a little right. sanding on it. Round it, round it a little. Yeah, it don't matter. Um, well, look, I love this knife. I think it's great, okay. especially for a neck knife. Bigger hands, just nothing. I liked it when it came out too. I don't know what the jimping on the bottom is for. I haven't asked that yet. I'm going to have to ask. Um, you know, I'd have one. I don't yet. I have everything, but. <sighs> All right. It's going to go ahead and now. I'm going to take it back out of the sheet. Oh, I got to take it out again? Because we, we were winding we it up. We got to do the specs. I'm going to give you specs. Let's do it. Okay. This carries 5.91 inch overall with a 2.95 inch D2 cleaver blade, satin finish, black grind, jipping, and plain edge. Handle is black and red, which you can see. G10 with lanyard hole. Comes in black kydex sheath. Whoop. And the infamous ball chain. Yep. Designed by Midgard Messer. This guy is just $65.41 from thelandknife.com. So overall, I really like it. It's different from all other neck knives they had coming out this year. Although, I'm pretty sure the design was based off like the, the original Boker URD. Mm -hmm. This one's bigger, obviously. I'm not complaining, though. I like it, too. It's grown on me. Yep. See, we didn't complain on that one. Yep. Final cut, number three, Kaiser Variable. Now, we told you there was another Kaiser neck knife that was highly sought after this year, and that was the variable, okay? Available now in two options. There's a green one and now the black blackout one. Mm -hmm. It's 4.84 inches overall with a 3.425 inch. I don't know why I'm having, having such issues today. D2 Warncliffe style blade with black finish, plain edge, jimping. The handle, handle on this one is black carbon fiber with the finger ring in the middle of course designed by dirk pinkerton this knife comes with a black kydex sheath Oop. there it is and of course the nylon the chain, lanyard, lanyard call, lanyard yeah. chain yeah. starting at just 38 dollars from atlantaknife.com we should mention that many of these kaiser and civivi prices are only for the holiday season plus you spend over 29 dollars you get a free knife roll from kaiser or civivi or Wii, whenever mm. keep that in mind because you know that really you're like oh i can get a Lots variable Wait, wait, the little while supplies last. Yeah, We're so good on Kaiser stuff, I think. Overall, this is a very handy little tool. I mean, it's perfect for something you just want to carry around work and use real quick and put back real quick because this finger ring really helps you, like, guide it in there. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. And I think, ugh, I don't know. I feel like it should have just a little more handle, if I'm being handle. honest. Yeah, because it works okay like this, but I'd still like to hold it like this. You're not going to be able to. Yeah. I know I'm not, but... but... I like it that way. All right. I think it's great. We'll move on. Oh, wow. Ready? I think it's great. Want to go to number two? Mm, well, this... I don't know, because I think the other one, too, I think had different to steel. This one has 154cm, and the other one had the other one, but... All right. Well, wow. see, you're upgrading Just, steels. We're going along here. Exactly. Could you go up a little more? Because the price really one, ain't changing much. The other one's hmm. 38, and this one's 154, so it's a little more, I think. Exactly. But it's still good for the price. Give them number two. Number two, the Tops Pioneero. So we really, really liked this knife. Mm -hmm. Very slim carry, but the design was so well thought out. I mean, Tops, we couldn't resist putting it on the list. Yeah. And it was also made in the USA. Which may or may not have gone to our decision. Mm. Unfortunately, like last week, it sold out very quickly. Again, <laughs> neither of us were able to get one. Nobody thought about it. I mean, I kind of thought about it, but, you know. Too little too However, late, June. we're going to give you the specs from a past video. Just so you have them. Yeah. Let's go to the videotape. 
Only one option. And a. Yep. So this design was based on the most common knife type on the whole globe. A yep. paring knife. Yeah. The Pioneero designed by L. Calderon. Ed Calderon, not L. Calderon. Ed. Has That's a variety. Of, He'd probably like to be called L. Calderon. The Calderon. Exactly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, you know what? L. Calderon, sounds good to me. <laughs> Has a variety of uses outside a paring knife as well as multiple carrying options due to the spring steel sheath clip, Yay. which you're showing them now. So it's 6.73 inches overall with a 3.38 inch 1095 carbon steel blade that comes to about 56, 58 on the HRC scale and is 0 0.09 inches thick. Mm -hmm. So for a 7.63 inch blade, mm -hmm. it also features a thumble... Uh, th 3.38 inch blade. I'm sorry. 7.63 overall. There I was reading go. the wrong thing. Uh -huh. I it up. Don't tell them 7 inches. Tumble finish. False edge. Finger divot for Yay. extra control. Because why else would you have a finger divot? So, so oh, it also, cool. so you know where the edge is. I yeah. mean, when you're taking the knife When out. extracting the knife from the sheath. Full tan carry has red liners. Tan canvas micarta scales. Uh oh, nice. they matched them up again, didn't yeah. they? I like that. As well as cutouts for the back of your hand or even more control. Lastly, comes with a black Kydex sheath and survival whistle. Yep. Weighing just 2.9 ounces with sheath, I mean without sheath, and 4.1 ounces with, this carry is $139.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. Released in mid May, the Topps Pionero, designed by L. Calderon, was a major hit. And it really wasn't hard to see why. It fits in the hand like a pair of Ray Tailored gloves. Wow. Couldn't say it better myself. Nobody see. will know that one. Yeah. I really like the half skeleton design across the micarta as well. Size of the knife was perfect in my opinion. I liked the finger divot too. I felt like it just gave you a better grip. Of course it had, you know, practical purpose other than that too. Awesome blade from Tops, and I hope it returns to AlanaKnife.com real so. soon. Glove fits. Gotta buy it. Is that what they say? Yep. How do you get the land knife? Brings us to the final blade. Wow. I know. Number so, one neck so knife of the year. And that is... The QSP Canary. Yes. So wow. my favorite this year, closely tied with the top of the Paranero and the Boker, obviously, was the QSP Canary neck knife. It's awesome. Now I'm going to give you the specs first before I go on gushing. Okay. So this carry comes in a large variety of options true QSP fashion. We have the coolest one on the table. It is 5.25 inches overall with a 2.5 inch drop point blade with flat grind, spiral jumping as I like to call it, plain edge, and various blade finishes depending on which version you go with. So the basic models with G10 handles or Micarta have 14C 28N steel, while the more higher end models have carbon fiber handles. Mm -hmm. With Damascus blades, or in this case, lay it on them, see? Brass copper Damascus steel. Yes. Each carry comes in black kydex sheath and a billet chain. They begin at only $49.50 from AtlantaKnife.com. My mama gave me that chain. All right, I'm going to let you go first. Well, you can not have messing with people, boy. All right. Man. Well, look, I like this knife, too. Mama! And, and I think that, Sorry. believe it or not, mm -hmm. even though it may not be the most utilitarian Ooh. neck knife on the table, I think it should have been number one because they put extra effort and just, I'm not putting anybody down, not just anybody didn't down. say, hey, here's a piece of metal that's stone washed. Wow. That's they, true. They, look what they did to the blade. I know. That is awesome. I need one of these. Look at the top. I could actually see a little display. Can you? Can you also see like a little metal pin behind it holding it up? I think you can. <laughs> you mean a magnet one? Someone's stealing my <laughs> magnets. How about mine? Uh -huh. What she's talking about. Mm -hmm. So look, I'm all good with that being number one. I, I might even, if I could work a little magic on that and get that on my belt. Uh huh. I might. Do Chris people carry that? Work a little there magic. There you go. That's great. So I love this knife. I love the unique spiraling jimping that they did on it. I love the quality, no matter which option you choose. The carbon fiber, Nebula, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the brass copper Damascus. I forgot about the brass copper Damascus. Come on. You're not going to find a blade like this anywhere else. Okay. QSP. All I can do right now, all I can do is this. So the police come and they're like, what happened? Like, oh, I mean, like, don't, don't focus on that. 
Look at this brass copper Damascus. Wow, that's all. awesome, man. You Where'd should you go get home. That? Take it home with you. Let's go. Alandknife.com. Yeah. Well, that was our last blade. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as well as ring that bell. That way you link to AK and get first dibs on new knives, access to AK deals, discounts, and more. Yeah, it's a smorgasbord of great deals. Mm -hmm. As well as automatically entered into giveaways. Make sure to double your chances of winning that top Saspo Express by becoming an official AK member using the link down below. Yeah, I think you should probably stick around for the blooper reel. <laughs> There's going to be an well, interesting blooper reel. Well, clearly right. yours is the QSP Canary. My favorite, yeah. Clearly. All right, so I'm going to go with the Poker Erd. I should have known. You are D. I should have known. Yep. It's the I would have went Canary. It's the closest knife. To a knife. To a, to a, a big fix blade. It's almost a knife. Yeah. Getting there. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. great. That concludes this week's episode. I'm C, and that was... Joel, just Joel. As always, signing off. I'm not very fond of uh, what you would call... See, I can't get this thing out of here. This thing's small. Is there a trick? She knows the trick, doesn't she? I don't know. My thumb is unable to push it out. It's yours. Alright. Um, how you get it out? What do you mean, how you get it out? Is there a trick? Is it take it out? I got it. I got a trick. Are you ready? <laughs> Mama! I'm sorry. Man, you just got... I steal. I don't kill. I just got about two hundred dollars. Remember? Ooh. Do you think they clicked it yet? I didn't hear it. Guys, ah. you click. All right. I know. <laughs> I would have mentioned the. Uh... <laughs> You're not gonna see this part. I don't know why that's on there. <laughs> Sad, dried up balls part. What was that supposed to mean anyway? I didn't mention any of that. I know I wouldn't have mentioned. What does that mean? <laughs> how? What does it mean, how? Step out of the shower feeling alive. That one's for you, Chris.